What if you never truly die? Quantum mechanics suggests you might live on in countless parallel universes. Quantum physics is strange. Events only give probabilities until we observe them. Schrodinger's cat, both alive and dead until seen, illustrates this oddity. Traditionally, observing forces all possibilities into one reality, the Copenhagen interpretation. But in 1957, Hugh Everett proposed something radical. Perhaps the universe doesn't collapse. It splits. Every quantum decision makes branches. So now there's a version of you that saw the electron spinning clockwise, and there's another version of you that saw it spinning counterclockwise. And that's just taking seriously the prediction of quantum mechanics. It's not adding any extra stuff, any extra worlds, anything like that. That is the part where my brain broke. If an electron can go left or right, the universe becomes two, one for each outcome. You end up on one branch while another version of you exists in the other. This was hard to swallow until decoherence was understood. In the real world, interactions with air, light, etc., split these branches so completely they never mix. Each outcome feels definite, as if a collapse happened. Quantum computers even use this idea. Qubits can be zero and one at once, doing many calculations in parallel. Physicist David Deutsch says a 300 qubit computer runs two to the power of 300 calculations simultaneously tapping into those parallel universes. That leads to quantum immortality. If every outcome happens, one version of you survives each life or death event. Everett reportedly believed he'd never truly die. It's controversial, but suggests our near-death experiences might be moments when we shift to a reality where we live.